In this video, we are going to solve another optimization problem, which is also a quite simpler one. So here we are calling it a third coffee creamer case. So the CEO of this company, small coffee company that sells both sweetened and spiced coffee creamers is reviewing their performance from last year. And they found that each ounce of sweet creamer sold yields a profit of 0.90. And a spice creamer sold yields a spice creamer sold yields a profit of 0.94. But sweetened and spiced coffee creamers have two main ingredients: sweetener and spice. And uh, so you also found that the most popular sweetened creamer, sweetened coffee creamer, contains 66 percent sweetener, and while the most popular spice creamer contains 63 percent spice. Okay. So in an effort to maximize his profits, he decides to manufacture only a single type of both sweetened and spice creamer, meaning they will always make the following composition. So they will make two types of creamer, sweetener and spiced, and the sweetener will have 66% of sweetener content and 34% of spice content. And the spiced one will have 37% of sweetener content and 63% of spice content. And we have a capacity limit here, 70. We have about 7,000 ounces of sweetener content and 5,000 ounces of spice content. That's our capacity limit. So now actually we have to find out how much to produce. And here are some of the questions. Um, yeah, they are formal questions, but I'm not going to go through each of them uh, like formally, but I'm just going to solve them. So here we have put the information that we need. So we are producing two types of creamer, sweet creamer and a spice creamer. So for sweet creamer, we need 0.66 of sweetener and 0.34 of spice content. And for spice creamer, we need 0.37 of sweetener and 0.63 of spice content. And we have a limit on uh, our sweetener content that is 7,000 ounces and our capacity limit for spice content is 5000 ounces. This is profit per unit sold of sweet creamer and this is profit per unit sold of spice creamer and this is actually we don't have capacity constraint at the moment so I will just ignore it for now. Okay so now the decision is to make is how much how many of the sweet creamer to make and how many of the spice creamer to make and so these two are our decision variables and we put them zero so as, as the objective function, so what we have to do is we have to define the total uh, profit here. So that would be how much of creamer, sweet creamer we will produce multiplied with how much is the profit margin per creamer. And then plus how much of the spice creamer we will produce multiplied with the profit margin of spice creamer. And that's our profit, uh, total profit that we will maximize. And here we have to define again that how much of the sweet content we have used. So to define that, we will start with equal to equal to. We'll start with equal to. And this is the sweet creamer we produce multiplied with the sweet content plus the spice creamer we produce multiplied with the uh, the the spice creamer we produce multiplied with the sweet content. Okay, and uh, similarly here we will have again the amount of sweet creamer we produce multiplied with the spice content plus the amount of spice creamer we produce multiplied with the spice content, right? And total creamer to make, actually we don't have any limit there but still it will be this plus this. So now to get the amount of creamer to make and maximize the profit, we will go to solver. So we go to data and then we get it. So in the solver, first I have to set my objective. So I select this one is my objective. I want to maximize this. That's why we have selected maximize here. By changing cells, we change these two cells only. Okay. And then we add. So what are our constraints? This value used cons used sweetener creamer should be less than equal to which is here we already have less than equal to this value here, 
add and uh, this value should be less than equal to this value here add what else we have we actually don't have any capacity constraints at the moment but one idea could be to define these two as integers so we produce only in a whole numbers of sweet creamers and spice creamers and another good idea would be to add uh, to define them as positive values so they should be always zero or higher we cannot have negative values so yeah greater than or equal to zero and then okay then yeah we use the simplex one and solve and this is the value we get 8827 and 3172 and this sounds good so now to answer these questions yeah we could have written it uh, these are the writing writing examples i'm not going to discuss them but you, I, I guess you can now you can now write them pretty well uh yeah we found out how many of the spice creamer and how many of the sweet creamers we should produce those are here 8827 of sweet creamer and 3172 of spice creamer and total profit should be that this was the last question it should be it would be about 10,925 USD